In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install the PyCharm IDE for Python development on Ubuntu. So first, open a terminal and make sure you have Python 3 installed. So Python 3 dash dash version should give you something. If not, if you have something like command not found, you can do sudo apt install Python 3. Okay, so you install Python 3 and then you can start to install PyCharm. To install PyCharm, we are going to use the snap functionality of Ubuntu, which is very useful. So with just one line, we can install PyCharm. So sudo snap install PyCharm and then you are going to put dash community. So you have a professional version and a community version. The community version is the free one, the one you can use without any problem. And then dash dash classic. So you press enter, you put your password, and then you're going to wait. So first it's going to download the different snaps and then install them. So nothing to do, just wait. All right, and once you see that, PyCharm is correctly installed on Ubuntu. And to run it, well, you can just type PyCharm community on your terminal and press enter, but you can also do, so what you can do is you can search here for PyCharm, okay? And then you are going to find it, you click on it. Okay, so you will have to accept some terms for the first installation, so you click on continue. And then, well, I already had one project, but you will get this. So you can file close project. You will get this view here, something like that. And you can click on new project. Okay, it's going to create a new project. You can keep the environment like this. Click on create. So it's going to set up the virtual environment. And now you have a new project and you can start to work from there. So just a few important settings I want to show you first. You can go on File, Settings. And one of the most important settings is the theme here. So Appearance and Behavior and Appearance. The theme, you may have that one, the IntelliJ Light, which is the light theme and which can hurt your eyes if you spend many hours in front of your computer. So you can choose a dark theme, for example, Dracula, which is quite nice. Okay, and then you can click on apply here. One other thing that is very useful, and I don't know why it's not enabled by default, you go on editor, general, and you can, so this is going to be unchecked. You can check this, change font size with control plus mouse wheel. So you click on apply and okay. And basically it means that with control and your mouse wheel, you can zoom in, zoom out, which is very convenient. Okay, so that's it for the basic configuration. You can also, of course, configure much more things later on. Now let's see what we got here. So on the left, you have a navigation tree, okay, with your project, and you can have many files, etc. You can see the files here. Okay, you can toggle that if you want to. And then you already have a main.py, okay, with a hello world program. I'm going to click on that to remove this. And here you have the main file. You can run the file just by clicking on the play button and you can see hi PyCharm. So you can run the files just like this. All right, so as you could see, the installation was quite quick and the setup is also quite quick. So you can directly start to do Python development with PyCharm. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Python step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.